Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, my name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be my eyeshadow inventory. So I have been doing here on my channel inventory series where I have shared with you my collection and talked about the number. This video will be a little bit different because I'm not going to share with you my collection, I'm just going to talk about the number and I am going to rant a little bit about my eyeshadow purchasing habits. So this video will purely be about numbers. If you are curious about my eyeshadow palette collection, I did film one in March. I will link that video down below. I have since bought a couple of new palettes and in that collection video there are some palettes that I have decluttered, but mostly the palettes are the same. So if you are interested, my eyeshadow palette collection video is below. When I count all of my eyeshadows together, I do have 326 eyeshadows and this is shadows in palettes, my single eyeshadows in pan and my single eyeshadows in a loose form. I know for many beauty lovers eyeshadow palettes are a weakness and I am no exception on that. I have bought eyeshadow palettes too much for what I would like to have and I have decluttered many of my palettes because I simply do not have time to use everything. So I do have currently 27 eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I have just the glider palettes that I really don't like, but I do have still some palettes that I don't really like them. I think it would be for me ideal in future to have only palettes that I love. I don't have any specific number in my mind, but I think like in five years or so, I would love my eyeshadow palette collection to fit to this container. This container is from H&M Home and it's currently holding some of my bigger eyeshadow palettes and also it does have a couple of my smaller eyeshadow palettes that I just want to use now. Ten other eyeshadow categories that I do have are pressed single eyeshadows. I do have 13 of those. That is not actually too bad. I can show them to you quickly. I mainly do have pressed single shadows from Makeup Geek and then I do have a one single shadow from Essence that is in a separate container. But I do have here all of my single pan eyeshadows that are magnetic. These are something that I really do enjoy. I think the quality of these is amazing and I have heard that so many indie brands do amazing pressed single shadows. I think I would love to have in future one C palette full of unique eyeshadow pants to my collection. However, I do currently have here some eyeshadows that are not that unique to my collection. There are like bronze, gold, copper eyeshadows. I do have plenty of those in palettes already, so yeah. Maybe in future I will be smarter when purchasing single pants. They are actually not something I have really been buying that much because usually if I buy eyeshadows, I buy eyeshadow palettes. However, lately I have been really much into loose eyeshadow pigments from indie brands. So I do currently have 26 loose eyeshadows from indie brands. Loose eyeshadows, loose pigments, whatever you like to call them. The stuff that I have is inspired by certain theme. Like I do have eyeshadows inspired by Game of Thrones or Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or something like that that actually is close to my heart and is inspiring. So this category is something where I don't want to kind of like limit my collection. I think if there is a makeup category that I want to collect, it is loose eyeshadows, at least for right now. I used to have that collector's mentality for eyeshadow palettes, but when I bought them more, I realized I cannot appreciate them enough if I do have too much. But these loose shadows, I don't necessarily buy them for the color, I buy them because I love the inspiration behind it. And also, I really like to support that kind of indie brands who do that makeup. They usually make them home, I think it's so amazing, they are just normal people like you and I. And I want to support their businesses, so even when I am going to do a no-buy next year, I think I will allow myself to place a couple of orders to indie brands and buy loose pigments. But what comes to pressed eyeshadows, 
eyeshadow palettes I don't want to have too many I only want to have some cohesive palettes that I can get a lot of use of and then I would love to have one C palette with some more unique shades and currently my eyeshadow palette collection or my eyeshadow collection I feel it's gotten a little, little bit out of hand I do have so many eyeshadow palettes that I almost want to declutter but there is that one shade that <laughs> I don't want to declutter it because of that I don't want to force myself to declutter anything right now. However, I do want to work on my eyeshadow collection, I do want to pan many palettes from there, and I don't want to keep adding more to my collection. There is only one palette that I'm still planning to purchase before my no-buy. I think I'm going to buy it on Black Friday or a little bit after, that we'll see. But the only palette that I really want to my collection and I have really wanted for a longer time but I do not have it is the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. That was actually a palette that I was supposed to buy first from Juvia's Place but then when I tried them first I bought both the Nubian and the Nubian 2 palette. I feel it's the only palette that you know if I went to know by now that I would have second thoughts that I didn't get it. But other than that I really don't think I want palettes to my collection like yes there are all the times new beautiful palettes coming out brands know that we love eyeshadow palettes so they make all of these beautiful eyeshadow palettes and they release them all the time and one thing with eyeshadow palettes is that they can be a little bit more pricey if i keep buying this much eyeshadows i cannot get my money's worth out of the palette because it's just sitting in my drawer and it's getting expired and yes eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadows do expire. They don't expire as soon as some other categories but they still do and I just I feel bad that I do have some palettes that you know I haven't shown enough love for them. The amount I have eyeshadows right now it is like maximum to me like I cannot handle anymore and you know I don't want to feel this way about makeup. Makeup should be fun. I love doing my makeup every single day. Like today I did watch some YouTube videos and did my makeup. It's something I love. I love playing with eyeshadows. I love doing some beautiful looks like there is nothing wrong with that but just the hoarding it's not for me the way I want to go anymore. And one thing I want to mention about my eyeshadow palette collection that it is one category where I do have most non-vegan makeup left. I went vegan on April 2016 and I think it was in April 2017 that I started to buy only vegan makeup. But I do have quite much eyeshadow palettes I did buy before I went vegan with my makeup. So I do have eyeshadow palettes that are not vegan. I do have nine. And those are something that I would like to pan first from my collection. Not all of them are something that I actually can see myself panning. For example, I do have from the Balm their Meet Matte Nude and Meet Matte Trimony palettes. So with those palettes I think I might depot them possibly, especially in the Meet Matte Nude palette there. Are some sets that I don't even like, but there are some sets that I do like, so maybe if I depotted them, I would keep only those shadows that I really use but I do have many eyeshadow palettes that are not vegan that I actually could see myself panning and one I will be panning next year then I think there is one non-vegan eyeshadow palette that there is such a huge sentimental value to me in that palette that I don't want to pan it like completely and I don't want to get rid of it maybe when it does expire Maybe then I will put it to some memory box. So I'm talking about the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette because that palette has traveled with me to so many parties and events. That palette has seen Death Gong 1 with me, that palette has seen Cubase with me and I just I cannot get rid of that palette. But honestly, even though I do like silver eyeshadows once in a while, I don't see myself panning that palette. But other than that, palette I really don't have that huge sentimental tights with makeup. I think that is everything I want to say. I know this video was a little bit rambly and maybe 
a little bit negative. For me personally, hoarding stuff, it doesn't make me feel good. So that's maybe why I'm feeling a little bit negative. I want to love my eyeshadow palette collection and that's why I think I need to stop buying eyeshadows for now. So yes, I will still buy the Juvia's Place Masquerade, but after that, I think I am going to go on an eyeshadow palette no buy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit rambly. I'm sorry about that. But if you did like this video, please put thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye bye.